Show me a jigger, let me see. Let me see. And let me see the woman that is with. That is it. Put a couple thousand dollars on your wrist. What's on your wrist? Mama, right now? mama, they can't touch you. Uh, I ain't never see this kind, babe. We do do so kind things, make me feel some kind way. You know why I'm not just trying to get late. Cause I know some kind chicks do it for the right pay. Baby, make a fire you with my machine gun. 16 rounds. I'll be King Kong. Kelly, make a sample you, my brand new song. Baby, love. Thank you. 
over the hands, then you can move forward. Thank you. Clap for the Lord.
My name is Aude Gafere. Let's clap for the Lord. Of course, enough. Yes, who's giving this young man to be married to this beautiful young lady? Yes, and the late mother's brother who comes after her. My name is Pedro Sinandes. I'm the uncle. I am giving her or surrendering her in the Lord's hands to me. Uh, his, Please, his wife. don't confuse us. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm surrendering my, my son. Yeah, thank in you. The, come up of the Lord to take his marriage seriously. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, oh. So, you are giving both of you that this is your son and what he's doing is the right thing. Clap for the Lord. And then I'm speaking to the paternal relation of the bride who's giving this beautiful young lady to be married to this handsome young man. Love for the Lord. I'm the uncle to the bride, so I'm giving out my daughter to get married in, in the house of the Lord. Thank you. And then the maternal side of the bride. Uh, my name is Tumonobe uh, Yata Poshiweba Motenge. The angel to the bride. I genuinely came from Montana to witness this wedding in the house of the Lord and wish her all the blessings. Let's pray the Lord is for mine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On this juncture, I now will ask the parents because you've made your declaration in front of the Lord to leave them and you go and then witness the rights. Thank you very much. Father God, day of the wedding of Victor and Albertina. 
we commit the preaching of the word to the guiding and the leading of the Holy Spirit. I commit the corridors of my mind and my thoughts to the infiltration and the influence of the Holy Spirit. I commit the cogitations of my mouth and my heart to the guidance of the Spirit of God. I thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost. I submit this service, Father, but to the order of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I take now authority in this room and I speak the order of heaven as it is in heaven, so shall it be in this room. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Greetings um, to the father of this house and all those that represent the leadership in this house. Thank you for allowing us to do the wedding in this house. Amen. Greetings to the parents that gave birth to Victor Bandu and to Albertina Ikali. We honor and salute you. Amen. And greetings to Dr. Shirley Magazi. Amen. I'm married to this girl for over 24 years. I married her as a young girl and she's given me three children. Amen. I'm in covenant with her for the past 24 years. And greetings to the church. And greetings to Victor and Albertina that gathered us together here. If someone did not propose and someone did not say yes, we wouldn't be here this morning. Congratulations for doing the right thing. This is what we all ought to do. Amen. 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 Shall we go to the word of the Lord? I'm going to preach the word like I'm in my house. Amen. And so bear with me. I like everything except this podium. It's, it's almost at my neck. Amen. Amen. The reason why we preach the word of the Lord is the word of the Lord brings life and it brings transformation. I can come and we pray and we do the vows and we do the marriage and then we go and we enjoy. But if we leave God out of the picture, what we are spiritually and prophetically saying is that in this our celebration, God, you are not invited. We need to understand the legal system of the land have done their part. And so in the Republic of Namibia, they are recognized as a couple. But in the Republic of the Kingdom of God, they are not married. And they shall be married only after the consummation of the wedding this afternoon. And God expresses himself in his word. His will. His character, his, he, what, what his desires for us as humanity. And therefore, as I preach the word, I want you to be engaged. We are not speaking the word religiously. 
We are preaching the word because there is no other way to do this thing. Amen. Amen. Now, in the original intention of God for humanity, He created a man. And then, when He created the man, He planted the woman inside the man. And there came a time that God came and put the man to sleep and went inside the man and extracted the woman. And when he, when he finished taking the woman out of the man and introduced the woman to the man, and he said, the man said to the woman, now this one is a bone of my bones. I like that. Say that again. It's a bone of my bones. Super, super, super. And this one is a flesh of my flesh. Amen. This is, this is Nyamazo Nyamazange. Amen. Are we together so far? And so I'm going to talk to us this morning about a covenant. The covenant is not a contract. Contracts are sealed with ink. And covenants are sealed with blood. Covenants are based on mutual trust. And contracts are based on mutual distrust. In other words, in, other words, in covenant there is trust. And the reason and the purpose of a contract is because we are entering into an agreement and we do not trust each other already from the beginning. But in covenant, we enter with the baseline that we trust each other. And so the ink is created with chemical substances, but the blood, the Bible says in Leviticus 17, 14, the blood of an animal is the life of an animal. And we know then, therefore, when we enter into a covenant, we are saying, my life is yours. I'm, I'm, I'm signing this deal with my life. Are, are we still together? Amen. Amen. Now in the olden days when they would sign a covenant or when in the ancient days the, the ancient Bible people when they would do a covenant two families will come together one family inside and in this now regard is a band of family that are coming together and the high Kalis that are coming together and their parents. So the two herds of the, the, the Bandus and the Haikalis will come together and they will be responsible to sign the covenant. And when they would do the covenant, the covenant had almost nine, nine to ten steps. And I'm going to take you through and also explain why did they do what they did. And they were typifying or symbolizing what Christ would come and do on Calvary some years to come. Marriage is a serious thing. 
It is not for young girls. It is for matured women. When I say women, I don't mean that you are 35. I mean you could be 18 and then mature. It is, it is for matured men, not for boys. Boys, they like playing touch, touch, hit and run. But matured men take responsibility. Amen. You differentiate between a man and a boy when he begins to take responsibility of someone else's daughter and someone else's child. So if you are 50 years old and you are still playing touch touch and hit and run, you are still a boy, you are just a 50 year old boy. Amen. Amen. That's how it was in the beginning. Now the two families will come together. The step number one is that they will come together and they will discuss the covenant terms and conditions. Just like in a contract that will discuss the terms and conditions, and if you agree and I agree, and then we both sign. And the only difference is that in that terms and conditions in a contract is based on I don't trust you, and As also you don't trust me. Before you run away with my money, let me ensure that that in case you run away with my money, I have a way of tracking my money back. Amen. But in covenant, we we enter already trusting each other because we love each other. And so we are not expecting anybody to run away from the covenant. But today, in the life of today, in the society of today, we have relegated the covenant to a contract because we enter already not trusting each other. Because the other person came in knowing that, okay, Victor is a millionaire, so I can run away with so much. Albertina is a politician, so she can make a, a room for me somewhere in some office. And so we enter with all these things that have nothing to do with life and with love and with covenant itself. But God wants to reorient us this morning and bring us back to the center, bring us back to the real thing, the reason and the purpose of marriage. Amen. Amen. How do you say again, bone of my bones? Super soma super yang. Super soma super yang. Amen. So when they finish discussing the terms and the conditions, and then step number two, they will bring an animal and slaughter that animal and sacrifice, and that animal will serve as a sacrificial animal. And uh, we see that in Genesis chapter 15, Abraham and God did the same thing. God said to Abraham, bring me a haifa. Or, um, a female cow and bring me um, goats and bring me down and cut them, kill them and cut them in the middle. One piece was God's and one piece was Abraham's. And that 
animal had to be without blemish. Otherwise, it had to be healthy, no disease, no spot. It had to be a healthy animal. And we see that the same thing when we take that symbolically and prophetically. This is what Christ, or this is what the Father God did with his own son on Calvary. He brought his son on the mountain and he slaughtered him there on the mountain on Calvary for the sacrifice, sacrificial offering for the sins of me and you. And then when we come into marriage, in the, in, the, in, the, in the covenant of marriage, not in the contract of marriage. There are two animals. And one animal is Victor. The other animal is Albertina. And so those animals must be brought on the altar. And be killed. So that the Mandu family can arise. Because if we do not kill those two animals, every time Victor talks to Albertina, Albertina is going to be in my mother's house, and then they're going to thumb David standing like this. I don't want you to call me to come and counsel you. If either we choose to kill those two people and build one family, or we remain alive and then we'll be struggling to build a family. And that applies to the rest of us, to me and to the rest of us. If you are married, that applies to you also. Amen. That's a biblical order. Now, we are talking the 21st century order, 50 50, and, and, and all these things we have put in place that actually destroying families. The Bible is very clear. God says, Husbands love your wives, and wives respect or submit or honor your husbands. Those are the biblical principles that build a home. So we need to kill the two animals today. And those two animals need to decide, today I'm going to die so that my family can be one. It's no longer about me, what I want. It's about us. It's no longer about me, Albertina, what I want. It's about us. It's, 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 it's no longer my car. Regardless of who bought the car, it's our car. It's no longer my house. It's our house. And when I say our, it's us and the children that will come from that relationship. It's no longer our bank account or our bank. It's our bank accounts. It's no longer what I want, it's what, what is good for the family. God, 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 I mean the God of the heavens, the creator of the heavens and the earth, not any other God, is a very privy and a very smart God. There are many other gods, but the one that I'm serving, the Father of Jesus Christ, the Savior of my soul, the one that took me from the mud clay and planted my feet on the King's Highway, that one is the great and the mighty God. I, I'm not talking about that God that you serve only on Sunday and you don't even read your Bible when you go to church on Sunday, you do this. 
and you go to church. I'm not talking I'm about not God. Not I'm talking about the God that you have a relationship with and you don't have a relationship with Him. And it means that you don't have a God. You only have a religion that you appease every once a week. It's a pastor and an evangelist talking to you this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The third step that they would do, remember step one, they will come together. The second step, they will kill an animal. And the third step, they will exchange their robes, their belts, and their weapons. So they will take out their clothes and then take out his jacket, give it to her, check, take out the jacket, give it to her, take out his belt, exchange, take out his sword, give it to her, and in that understand. And so what they were saying is that as I give you my cloak, my robe, is that I'm covering you. As I give you my belt, my strength becomes yours and yours becomes mine. And as I give you my sword, either that whoever attacks you is as good as they attack me and vice versa. And so, have you noticed nowadays when we talk about, you know, exchange and then my strength and their strength, is that sometimes, you know, especially in the African culture, man is as if we know everything. For the, for, for the marriage relationship to work, for the covenant of marriage to work, we need to acknowledge and humble ourselves and be smart enough and know that I have some strengths and I have weaknesses and my wife has strengths and she has weaknesses and don't try to think you know everything. Amen. Amen. I'm a visionary. I can see things. I can see there. But I struggle to put the details together of how to get us to get there. And my wife can see the way of where we are going. Me, I only just see there. And if I have to take the family there, the way in the middle, I'll take them somewhere else because I see where, but putting the road together, I don't have strength in that. And so we in one family, the father is a good, knows how to put money into the family, knows how to bring the, the, the finance to the family. But what to do thereafter, she knows and he does not know. And so if we know our strengths, we utilize our strengths, remember me, have died, it's now us that must be alive. That if we live that way, the biblical way, we wouldn't have divorces today. Would me standing in court and standing like this, and you said, I said, and you are right, I'm wrong, and all these kind of things. But, but, but we chose, that's why people go to court and they do a wedding 
they call it out of community of contract. The, sorry, they call it out of community of, of property. That, that, that means that I don't trust you already. So your money is your money, and my money is my money, your car is your car, my car is my car, my house is. And they already divide because already we are, don't trust each other from the beginning. Because I know I'm marrying a thief, and she knows she's marrying a thief. And so the two thieves are trying to live together and show that I steal from you but you don't steal from me. And she's also thinking the same way, how to steal from you and you don't steal from me. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about us. I'm not talking about the other people in the other church next door. I'm talking about to us and to us. And I'm, to to us. I'm encouraging the couple, but I'm also encouraging us as a marriage seminar. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we look into the Bible in Genesis chapter 15, that's exactly what God and Abraham did. And when we come to Christ, that's what exactly Jesus did. The Bible said he takes our weaknesses and he gives us his right, he, 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 his strengths. He takes our infirmity and he gives us help. He takes our unrighteousness and he gives us his righteousness. He takes our sins. Our many sins. Those sins we, we think in our thoughts, those sins we act with our hands, and those sins we dream of. He takes all of them and he washes them with his precious blood and he gives us his righteousness, his holiness, and his purity. That's what I'm talking about. He gave us his sword, the word of the Lord, the word of, 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 of God. And he wrote our names in the palm of his hand. And he says, whoever wants you must open my hand and snatch you away from my hand. Then he hands you. Walk of death. So walk unto death. The road from where we started with the proposals until today was a walk unto death. That, that me, the honorable and the most reverend Mr. Victor Mandu, I'm going to lay aside. And then me, Mrs. or Miss uh, Albertina, I'm going to lay aside and we're going to form a new family. Asi ame Victor Mbandu, Tan Karigawa, ame Albertina, name Tan Karigawa, ipotu kakarenye, ekoro yume yepe. And step number five, Hamba zautano. They will then pronounce blessings and curses. Asi ota katumbura ema tungiko, no mafingo. If you forsake this covenant, May lightning strike you. If you forsake this covenant, the 28, we say that written that if you serve the Lord God, and these are the blessings that will follow you, and blessings will be will be mentioned. And but also if you don't forsake, if you forsake, if you if you serve the Lord and listen to the ways of the Lord and adhere to them, these blessings will follow you. And many blessings are mentioned there in Deuteronomy 28. But also if you forsake this road and God Himself is speaking the blessings to Israel, because God was in covenant with Israel, said these curses will come upon you. And because God is a God of covenant, when we enter into marriage, the covenant of marriage, the blessings 
and the curses are automatically hanging over us. We just need to pull which one we want. Amen. Amen. And number six, step number six, they will seal, they will seal the covenant. And when they finish all these other five steps, and then they will, and, uh, they will slit their wrist and then they will mingle their blood. And so they will be saying, today we have become black family. If it's two men, we'll become black brothers. And so if it's two families, we become black family because your my blood flows in you and your blood flows in me. And so we see that also in the act of love, in the act of marriage. Husband, husband and wife come together. But also we see that when we surrender our lives to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Jesus comes and delivers from the black line curses of our fathers. And we begin to walk under the blessing of his blood, the blood of Jesus. And that's why we pray in the name of Jesus. And also that's why we say in Revelation 12, that the Bible says in Revelation 12, 11, we overcame him not by our wisdom or by our decrees, our decrees, but we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Asid, o se simbe he na kwa katu kusa ya meri kwa takano ina tuwa ka tuwa karaku meno wa kuru na wetu wa kuka kurus ne puta tu vidi meri kwa takano kume na yompa Jesus Christus sa. O se tu ka uyonge nyasi, o se tu agona e fundo kupiti la mohondeza Jesus Christus sa. And step number seven. Tambo e zau tambali. They will exchange names. Ta kari chinga e madina. In marriage. Mono para. She becomes. She 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 becomes. Mrs. Bani. Monogwara nye yonane albertina ta kakara nye tatka tumbura nye si. Mgori katigo ta tembando. My wife became Mrs. Magazi. Mgori katigo ange kwa kere nye Mrs. Magazi. And so the children that are born from there, they become Magazis. Wa nawe tunawe nye nga wakara nye wa Magazi. And even though they were, they were born from the womb of a woman previously known as Haikali, now they become Bandus because there was an exchange of names. Asina mpirinyo kukawa hampuru kawa kwatundira kwa haikali Nyapa wa alikwara ao wa alichinja nye madina Amen So he also exchanged names because now it's no longer me Each and every time he addresses his name Victor can I borrow your car? He says I must first talk to my wife because we are one Because they are one name, one people Asipe na panare kufura mtuwa uzea ya hundira si Victor pende kwe etuwa roge Ngezi itaka uyu nganya stango tuti nze nika pure mkorika di kwenge Mora wa kara uturu na tukuna mkorika di kwenge Amen Amen And step and, and we see also on, in Calvary that when we became children of God We took the name of Christ That's why we are called Christians Christ, The name Christians is not a subscription it, it, It's not a, a description for people that come to church the, the name Christian means little Christ, those that have a covenant with the Lord Jesus Christ, those that know him, those are Christians, not people that attend church. It's just like when you sleep in the garage, you don't become a car the next morning. You must be born a car to become a car. So you're not a Christian because you go to church. Abraham in Genesis 15 also exchanged places with the father. He was Abraham. But after he had a covenant with the Lord Jesus, with, 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 with God, then his name is called Abraham. God took the Vav Yahweh in the middle and connected it to the name of Abraham. Now it's instead of Abraham, it's Abraham. That's Abraham and God together. Asimo Genesis simpe gororo, 
Abrahamu kwa kere jina lenika mtumbras Abraham Nye apagaya kere meri kwa takano kume na mpa na, na, na karunga Ipawe ya lichi njire jina lenika wa mtumbre nyasi Abraham And the next step, step number eight Is that after all these other seven steps They will now have a covenant meal to celebrate the two families that became one. And today we have a covenant meal in the evening. To celebrate the death of Victor and the death of Albertine and the birth of the Bandus. Da, da Victor, no, no, fata, Albertina, y por si me da tu ca, ham, hambre, ereto, lambando. Amen. Amen. And also we see that the same thing also that Christ did when we take communion in the Bible, it Jesus prophesied and did that before that that this is what will happen on Calvary. So he celebrated communion with his disciples. Asi mo bibere simpe yo garu gene yo pa Jesus Christu sa pa wakere no mura yo roko kuhuri ira kuma no waro ngwa wendi aka yo porofete kuhame na ina ngai ka horo ka yo kuna ngai kuhame na ina ngai ka horo ka waka mpankare ko sumbinda ka. And the last step, step number nine, number nine is that then they will plant a tree and they will call it a memorial tree. And so as that tree grew, they will always remember in that day, in that church or in that house on those grounds, we, the two of us who formed the covenant and that tree will serve as a memorial and they will take the blood from the animals that were slaughtered and they will sprinkle on that tree and as that tree grew it was a reminder of the covenant of the two families Amen. Amen. And um, when you look in Calvary, the cross was exactly the tree that God planted. And so that, that tree that sometimes people use today to, to, to denote that someone has passed away is actually a wrong symbol in the wrong place because the cross doesn't mean death, it doesn't mean someone has, has passed away. It means that this is a tree where Jesus was slaughtered and it served us as a memorial tree. Amen. And the tree that will plant today will put two rings on their fingers, and each and every time they remember those, they see those rings, they remember the covenant they've entered into. Anone no sostiene nat katapeka, ta kalituare kanoringa, kenye apanga ba tara koronyara dao, ta ba diworo kasi ame kuhuri de miri kwa tano. Now I'd like to, to conclude on this point and pray for us and Nara. to come to the exchange of vows. But before I do so, I want to remind us the couple that is getting married this morning, those of us that are married and those of us that are married and those that are planning to get married. That the olden day people fixed things and today's people replaces things. In the olden day, if the car was broken, they would take it to the mechanics, they would fix it. And today's garages, they replace parts. In marriage, in the, in, in the covenant of marriage, we fix broken things. We don't replace them. Amen. 
And the best way to fix things for us that are born again, spirit filled, that know the Father, is to fix them on our knees. Amen. Amen. You see, the Bible said God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He did not change. As we have moved with time, God actually is above time. And so, the way He was in the beginning, He is today and He shall be tomorrow. He still fixes things. That's why you used to be a drunkard, now you're a child of God, because Jesus fixed you. Amen. Amen. And those are still not fixed will give an opportunity so Christ can fix you today. Mr. Victor Mandu and uh, Miss Albertina that is about to become Mrs. Uh, 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 Mandu we fix things. We don't replace them. Nani Albertina no tatembando ose kuwa paika inunge kapiatu re dako yoi petu yai turemo. I used to be a karate man. I'm a preacher, spirit filled, born again child of God today preacher because Christ came and He fixed my life. Asi amenga dana na re karate marange si na richindi wa hampur kurange na zura nyeno nope pompongo. So number one, remember after the nine points. The next advice is that we fix things. Number two, I want to say also to those of us that are going to be engrafted in this family or already engrafted in this family as in-laws. Some problems in a covenant are not caused by them. They are caused by those people, external people, that we call as in-laws. Uh, let, let me not go in there. I'll just say dot 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 and you can feel him. You find two people in problem because someone said and someone said and someone's mother said and someone's father said and, and all these kind of things. Let, let's 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 help them to grow and let's help them fix things, not break them. The other thing is that, that money, if we make wrong financial choices, tomorrow we're going to reap bad financial consequences. So remember the strengths. If one is financially strong, knows how to plan, then let's 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 get that person involved. It's not my money. It's not her money. It becomes our money. Amen. Amen. Before I come to vows. We are here because Victor and Albertina brought us together. But I wouldn't like to unite them in, 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 the, in the holy matrimony without helping someone reconcile with their Lord Jesus Christ. So if you are there and I know there is someone that you don't have a living personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, you are not born again. You go to church because you were born, your parents were going to church, and you have no clue why they go to church. And today Jesus wants to give you a reason and a purpose of why you need to go to church. I would like to pray with you and usher you to the throne of God. Amen. Ndiyo kuzatu kongereka morawe onano nge ndio tato nge au kwa kara siwatu wa wazi kongereka nye kapuwa kuhilika sipe meliku watakano ota mbano kwa Yesus Christu sasi akari hopa goge no mzo ori goge neina na hara kukande rakume no nge You are not a child of God because you are a human being Kapitoka rasi yawe mnoga karunga moro yonpu The biblical order, the biblical order 
you are a creation of God because you were created by God. But to become a child of God, according to 1 John, uh, John 1 verse 12, that those that have accepted him, those he has given power to be a children of God. Can you give us Amen one um, verse soft? I want you, if you are there and you really want to accept that you that your testimony will be on this day on your brother or your cousin or your sister's wedding. The thing that you can remember the most is the best for you is so that you surrender your life to Jesus and you want to be that person. I want you to lift up your hands and we'll pray together and then we'll proceed. This is a place where you don't need to look into the person next door because the person next door, you see, when we die and we go to hell, have you noticed that when people die, you are alone in the coffin? You're not even with your cat or your dog or your husband, you are alone. And therefore, this decision that you're making today is a personal decision. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about your church here, that we are leaving your church. I'm talking about the relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you can't be in your church and die from your church and go to hell. The thing that matters to God is that you have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Is there someone besides that young lady that would like to say, Jesus, come to the Lord is there someone else? Remember, we're not talking about church, we're talking about a living relationship between you and Jesus. Is there someone else? Thank you for that hand on the back. Thank you for that hand on the back. Thank you for that hand. Thank you for that hand, Mama. You, you, you need to understand that if you can go to church all your life and you can die from church and go to hell, what God will ask you in heaven, He won't ask you, you were in my church or in what church. He will ask you, Do you know my son, Jesus Christ? Amen. Those that lifted up their hands, please stand on your feet and let's pray together. If you do not lift up your hands but you like to surrender your life, just stand with them and let's just pray together. Let's just pray together. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you. Is there someone else that would like to stand with them? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Someone else? Someone else? So let's close our eyes. Let's pray together. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come in my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Father for saving me. Today, I become your child. Help me to walk this Christian walk. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please clap hands for them. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Amen. We bless the Lord. The Bible says when one soul surrenders to Jesus, it says there's a party, there's a celebration in heaven. And, and this morning there is a celebration in heaven. Now, 
let's zero in to why we are here this morning. You came for the wedding. But Christ also came for you. You ignore him. And one day you will stand before him and he will ignore you. And he will remind you of today. Amen. Amen. Now, as we follow, we, we, we zero back on this tomb. In Ruth chapter 1, there is a man that takes his family, his wife, and his two sons. They leave um, Israel and they go to the land called Moab. And so in there, in the land of Moab, at the time there was famine in Israel, but when they got there, the land was flourishing. But for some time, that the famine caught up with them, and then in the land of Israel, where they were, the famine was over. And the Bible records and it says then it came some time that the man that took his wife there, his name, the name of his wife is Naomi, and then his two sons, um, Kilion and um, Malon, they all, all the three men died. And it's only the wives that remained behind, the, the wife and his two daughters-in-law. So after some time, Malo, uh, uh, Naomi heard that in Israel, in their land, that the famine was over, the drought was over, should I put it that way, and they could go back. And so she decided she was going to go back to her mother's land, and then she said, whoever wants to come, and she said to these two daughters, he says, please go back to your own people. And she says, I'm too old not to give sons that you can get married. And even if I did give back to sons, you, you would wait too long to find them to grow and then you can marry again. Rather, please go back, my daughters. And, 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 both, and both daughters, Oprah and Ruth, the Bible said they started following and says, No, we are not going anywhere. They started following their mother and says, When you are going, that's also where we are going. I think she was a good mother in law. And the mother kept on, you know, trying to influence them to go and she kept on. But then the other girl went back and the Bible says she kissed her mother-in-law and then she departed. But there was this one specific girl that stuck with her mother-in-law. And verse 16, and this girl, Ruth, she says, and Ruth replied and said, Stop urging me to leave you. For where you go, I will go. Wherever you leave, I will leave. Where your people your people will become my people, and your God will become my God. Wherever you die, I will die, and there I will be buried also. May the Lord punish me severely if I do not keep to this promise. <laughs> Chapter 1, verses 16, I think it's 16 and 17. 16 and 17. We are Amen. 
Kwa kunga kafira na mei kunga ni kafira Ako yi kunga wa kafumbi kange Mompa atufutise Mompa afutise nge tukru Mwumnene na mpli nonomfa Nye ntuki nonomfa ito nga ditu Nga ditu kusange kokoge Amen I think that was a prophetic word for the marriage today. Those words, that's what you are saying to Albertine. That's what Albertine is saying to you. Where Victor goes, that's where Albertine will go. Until death do us part. There's no separation. You are becoming one. You are laying the, the, the singleness aside and you are becoming a, 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 a couple in, in, a, in a covenant of marriage, not in a contract. And therefore then these words apply to us and to the rest of us. And so shall I call my wife to come and stand with you? If you can keep that. By the way, this couple also, the Shambukunis, we also married them here in 2013. Same place. Same place. And, and, and we thank God, amen. So please remove the, the veil, Ms. Karambandi. And look at her in the eye, straight in the eye. And look at him straight in the eye. And please hand uh, to Mr. Bando, uh, this side of the ring. Um, yeah, the, the, the feminine ring, yeah. Her, her ring, her ring. And so as we see this ring, it is round, it has no start, no beginning. And so the marriage, it only starts, but it doesn't have an end. But remember we said, this is a covenant, this is, this is a memorial of the covenant. And each and every time I look at my ring, it reminds me, this is a covenant, this is, this is a memorial of the covenant. And each and every time I look at my ring, it reminds me that I'm a covenant in some way. It is a memorial. And so may this serve as a memorial into the truth. So shall you take her hand and you repeat after me. Say, and say Albertine Haikali. Albertine Haikali. Today. Today. I take you. I take you. As my lawful wedded wife. And we shall remain together. And we shall remain together until death do us part. Until death do us apart. To love you, respect you, and um, cherish you for the rest of my life. But I'll put you first. Of course, after God, yes, and um, let's run this together until that doors open. I, Albertina, is a name I call it. I think it's a value, it's my husband. And I promise to be there for you. And I told you already that. <laughs> but I want to say it again. I will love you with all your flaws. I will love you in the good times and the bad times. I will be a good wife to you. And if you can also get me the communion ready, also just there on the table. Is there, is there any, yeah, amen. The worship team can just once. Okay, you put your hand, your, 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 your candle on. The symbolism.
to us this is that the candle that he is holding in his hand is a symbol of his life. And his life was single and he did it himself. And the candle that she's having in her hands, no, you must do it yourself. Just, just take it. The candle that she's having in her hand is a symbol of her life. And it was a single life. Okay. So, so as now he blows her candle off, and then she blows her candle off, they, they want to be putting before they do that, that those flames of Albertine and Victor, they're going to be putting in one big candle that our lives from today onwards are one. And then they're going to blow each other's candle off. And then they're going to go to their, to their, um, so, sorry, we, we can do the vows while we are with the candles, and then we'll conclude with this one. Thank you, Mama. They need microphones. Okay, you can do your personal vows. We will start with the they're just about to be head of the house. Um, I, Victor Bando, have summoned here by promise you, Albertina, to Taleni, Aikari, Mbara, to love you, respect you, and um, cherish you for the rest of my life. And I'll put you first, of course, after God. Yes, and um, Let's run this together until death do us apart. Amen. I, Albertina, Italian in Italy, I take you Victor Bandu as my husband, and I promise to be there for you. And I told you already that, <laughs> but I want to say it again. I will love you with all your flaws. I will love you in the good times and the bad times. I will be a good wife to you. And also a great daughter in law to your family. I will be the mother of your children. I will be, I'll be your prayer warrior. Um, until then, there was a problem. So we walk to the table, and then we put the candle on one flame, and we proceed. Thank you, Jesus. union you're not coming alone but you're coming with christ and christ is going to help you to make it permanent give to her give to him and you take Father, we bless this element. Amen. 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 Amen.
said that take this cup, this is a cup of a new covenant, as it the blood that will be shed for you, as you do so, you do so in remembrance of me. So we give you the head of the house, so we serve this bride, and then so she will be served. They shall see their children off to university together. They shall see their children into marriage, into matrimony together. We pray that you will preserve their bodies, their systems, that sickness and disease shall not be their portion, that poverty and lack shall not be their portion, that discouragement, Father God, shall not be their portion that in the troubles that life will throw to them, you will give them the wisdom to fix it and not to replace each other, O God. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will walk with them. You will keep them, Father God. You will keep them pure. You will keep their house in order. And you will keep their house one flesh as Jehovah. We pray that you will fight for them every battle. That when the enemy shall throw back from the world, and from whatever angle, from whatever level, that an angel of the Lord, Father God, shall arise on their behalf and shall fight the battle for the gracious Jehovah. Father God, they shall be a testimony not only to this community, but to the communities of Namibia that look at the men and the women that God has blessed. That Father God, what the Lord said to Naomi shall be their portion, that there shall be no separation, there shall be no divorce. That Father God, they shall stand until either Christ come on the cloud or death will do them apart. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to bless them today with the blessings of the Lord, the blessings that are that, that make it rich and have no sorrow to it. We come to bless their union, we come to bless their life, we come to bless their marriage, we come to declare the blessings of the Lord in the name of Jesus. We come to invite you in this house, Father Lord, that you shall take to Today and walk with them into the future, in the uncertainties of the future. You will walk with them, you will give them the strength, you will cause them to stand the Father God when other couples are falling. Because their marriage and their covenant is founded on the rock Jesus. May you establish them, Father God. Much higher than them in secondary way.
and we also know a certificate is not enough. Yeah. There must be evidence. Yes, evidence. There must be evidence because yes. we work in evidence. Evidence. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. I would like you, as I present this to you, sir, yeah. uh, it is yours to keep. Yeah. Um, can, can, can we quickly take pictures? Yeah. 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 yeah.
Shall we close our eyes? Shall we all stand? Those that can stand, we close our eyes. I'm the only one talking, we are praying, and we can talk later, even all of us. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for today. What an awesome day. What a great day. What a mighty day. We thank you for what you have done in this house and for this couple. And we speak the blessings of the Lord over them that make it rich and add no sorrow to it. Amen. We thank you for carrying us, Father God, from wherever you came from and bring us to witness what you are doing for this couple. And as we bring this to an end for now in this service, we commit it back unto you and we pray that you will work with us further and until tonight, until we finish the whole process. And therefore, we speak your blessings. The Lord bless you, keep you, and make his face to, face to shine upon you. Be gracious towards you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Father, we thank you for the souls you saved today. What a day, what a day. Blessed be your name. Amen. Thank you very much. Love the Lord. Father, I believe most of the officiating has been done. And uh, let's just do the honorable thing. I believe the baskets are ready so that uh, we will uh, honor them with an offering as well. Praise the Lord. Let's just do that. Where's the baskets, ashes, dignity? Let's just do that one quickly. Before they go, they receive the blessings here. And it is well. Karunga to Giki. Karunga to Giki. Rodo Para de Nu. Victor Abetina. Karunga to Giki. Karunga to Giki. Rodo Para de Nu.
wa kuona tuma ne tukuna o mukli kiraso a pia mtenya na ini kina ini a karata ipoa ka katuke a panat katunda pina tuka ze kembo no kawa siganya o pembo ma kora tundo po eri kwa mone kembo na na kari ti so na rika kenda tuka wa siki wa kuro na e tu wa ka tuki le no po jana spito o se tuka ze ni ke wa mone ti le owa na o kua ras na o yunga ya ze Hatu sidi oni mati a poeta no goma vete ni makura tu pa kese no aku ko.
Hello. Okay. Tan kagawan yung pito ko mista kandereva tamuire mo hani na tuigiran yung neri ko ang malit. Ko meron kabe ko akundira buyungi ko kuamako nagyadirong kikide o ko akarasi ko akakwatera mo ko ruharong fukogong kadi na ko ruharong fukogong ka. Yo po akala madina kawali. Kung fuko kong kara, ta katu kwa teramo o tate sebedeus liambezi, hani kung fuko kong kara o tate katamba. Wali rongi, ha? So, kung kongka, ha? Kung kadi o tate katamba, kung kara o tate liambezi. Mista sebedeus liambezi. So, those two should get prepared. Kung nima sa yoyo, Awa kia gara mawi ko pampo ipotoa gaga wera papa swara la beti na swara la vikta ilongi kideni pomi aga mawi kideni mala panat tunda pa kamrungutui tau jaifa ta jaifa tu boja nini spito setu o seto pita kano tu ayu katu tu kire na seni kwa marit pan mista kande. We speak to we. We no go away. Yaro eh, pan pan do kompitrezi na guana ni tambire mo wantu membo mu. Let me thank the opportunity given to me. I feel honored to be given this opportunity to welcome everybody in this house at the wedding to celebrate the joyful the joyful wedding of Mrs. and Mr. Mbando. Where's Peter Way? Yeah. I'd like to welcome everybody, the family members from both sides. Please feel welcome at this house. You are most welcome. I want to single out the presence of uh, Mr. Aingura uh, Pasi, Tate Janawa, Tuam Tangura, Siaro Ogwetu, Wakawango of West, Nonane Aingura. Pan pan e mawiza. Wakurona wekuto. Lizueni asi tuam tambura. Wadikantu. Wawakadona. Wawamati. Use category. Ladies and gentlemen. Feel welcome at this house. At the joyful event of Mr. and Mrs. Mbandu. Please, let us celebrate the wedding in a joyful manner. Let us make the wedding the wedding of the year because of us present. To Ninkeni, to have a silica situasi, sikare silica na avurak dioroka meilima editua karen. Moranyo se tua uizako. Seta tu dana ku dana, seta tu dimbi ku dimba. Those who are gifted, having beautiful voice, let us sing. If you have the talent of dancing, please want to see the the styles, the movement, the moment. We want to remember you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Also, wants to make some uh, remarks to say. Please let us join hands to make the two people happy. It's us to make them happy. Let us celebrate this wedding in a Christian way. Also wants to welcome Pastor. Please feel welcome. Uh, all the way from Vedu, you came to 
do and preside the marriage. We thank you very much for coming. Please feel welcome. Paku Tambora Heno Tatem Sita, Katun de Ure Wabenduka, Wayaninke Nonghwaredi, Naoto Awa Tambora, Wapeniko Make. Wanekoro Natu Wenye Konombinga Natu Wenye, Pam Tambora, family members from both sides, Waka Tumbi, Mwawapa Nawa, None Sita Tkamde Indiramu Kadane, Se nyone venya spito, ninge ni spito skare semi. Own the wedding, make some movements and some noise where possible. Yes, spito we. Kapina hara kunana monaure, wa ninge tu pu ni tambure wa kwetu. Nam tambura mo nam venye. Kapina kunika e e. Omna kum tambora, kapiza kara welcome to Max Zange, Don Sivi, Don Handi. Azo kwa mtambora mo na mwenye, gomure, gomusupi, kwa mtambora. Everybody please feel welcome. Thank you very much. Yes, Peter Wayne. Yes, Peter Wayne. Yeah, nice. Let's put this here. 
Yatake swingi ya potari Marakat kasi ya deose Sida asantura kumbwezi Asena kono mamba kero kaso Bakara kwa inige Ilo kwa kari kona pino Mokuka kore ya kwa teke kuta Inige ya kara kwa kusura kipona hatu emo Muamano sayi sayi wa inige Makura nane kwa kito mwizani ya sitate Kakumbuke wa kandika Mwe kito mwaka mwaka Ima wa bayano kebi Ayesuite <laughs>
say, them say that That I can never be all that I see, I've seen that God is greater than that Who can battle with the Lord?
la patrona Judas Sandrine. Ntura kumbo, jiwa ntura kumbo Nangesi watu wapi tupe fuma deko Wahove Best man The place used to give the speech On behalf of all your friends While the best man is giving the speech The maid of honor I'm requesting you Also to be ready So that the best man Pass the mic To you, over to you so that the speech will just follow each other. Thank you very much. That's the best man. Simitreni kuhina ya wanda. Wale madeo anto mga wali henesa. Asi wazi kogawa. Nani koweri konkonke. Wale waka nkoka konkonke. Asi kandu. Uwe spito uwe. Uwe na mpara, uwe Uwe Beti, uwe Uwe Uwe, Vita, uwe Uwe Uwe, wapo, uwe Uwe Uwe, umnalitima Ok, kandu kompito Amenya mena irenge Nyame wako zigidanya asho tate best men Zikidangia shotate best men Moranga hako watu ina gumu na morakala Watate best men kwa vinda Tudinga nyame gokumu hapo inda But regardless of that I've known Victor My entire life if I may say Matukua na utoro kandini uyungeru kwangali ndi English Uyungeru kwangali Oh Atu uyunga Anu uyunga English To accommodate Okoro ha Romfu kogwetu gomua Yeah I'm Tobias Waladio angias na irenge Imo azikida ange I've known Victor my entire life, almost childhood. Our mothers were friends. We became friends through our mothers. And I believe our kids are also going to be friends. <laughs> Amen to that. Yeah. Um, even our wives. Hopefully, my wife is very meet her. Her name is Betty. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, um, I don't know what to actually say about Victor because what I know. If I'm to start now, I would ask the master of ceremony to give me an hour. But then, I don't think that's possible, so I'm going to, to make it brief and short. Um, we've been in Kurenguru, we grew up there. We've been at Elsin, we completed, we went to Winduk. This is my third speech. I'm doing on Victor's ceremony wow. as his best friend. He has done three speeches on all of the ceremonies I had. I did the first speech during his graduation and then he did a speech on my graduation as my best friend. <coughs> And then he did a speech on my wedding as my best friend. And now here I'm standing doing a speech 
as his best friend on his wedding. So it's a tie now. Two, two. <laughs> Not three, sorry. <laughs> but regardless of that, what I know about Victor is Victor and Siraura. Unsiraura Wendy, Unsiraura Wopinga. Oyo yona diva. Amen Akura Nagi Konkurenkuru. Maramo mwa divas non si raura seke. I believe this house is in good hands. It's very safe. That's what I know about my friend. But to, to wrap it all up, there's nothing that I can advise you which you haven't read already. Whatever the pastor said in church, nameo. <laughs> Whatever it is that the people are going to talk tomorrow when, when they are teaching Nameoyo. <laughs> so that is all I can say and all the best in for your wedding. Wow. And I know you're going to deliver because you are his son. Mm -hmm. So I know that my sister is in trusted hands mm -hmm. for as long as that God is the center of your relationship. Oh, yes. Yes. And for Betty. This is the husband that God has given you. Respect him, love him, take care of him, cherish him. Through doing all of those things, he will be able to show you the unconditional love that God has given him to give you. So I just bless your marriage as you go on. I know that it is truly blessed and everything will be fine. Everything will be sweet. <laughs> So, to the newlyweds, may God bless you and may God keep you. Thank you. Where is Peter away? 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 Where is Peter away?
Música en música en la música para ficha Niata Cuál es tu guitarra Y más de un que no avisa tu cuita Okay, I'm 
Komewo wali nuise tatu chukisa no champagne ido wa kuli nuisa Eh, uwa paikeni na dota ni warora Are we ready? Are we ready? Are all the tables ready? Can I start counting? <laughs> On the tables, let's wait first from the high table before we start taking the champagne. and Mrs. Bando, are you ready? Can, uh, can I start counting? One. Nairenge, if you may please come. Nairenge. We are toasting. Uh, I think I've uh, mentioned it uh, on Thursday during the magistrate marriage. I'm going to say it again. We are toasting to more of this. We are the youth, and we, the youth, are dominating. Marriage is dominating. And marriage is sweet. Guys, those of you that haven't got married yet, this is for you. Amen. <laughs> so let's toast to marriage. Toast to marriage. Okay, how are we are counting? Guys, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up.
Kawan ini sas kuki Oke Orang kari-kari Dua Tri